Jadi hari ini aku tuh bakal jadi salah satu speaker di International Conference uh, Ini tuh sebenarnya syarat dari SBM ITB untuk mahasiswa yang mau cum laude uh, Salah satu syaratnya selain IPK harus di atas 3,5 Kita harus jadi speaker di International Conference atau publish jurnal kita di International Journal Nah aku kali ini ikut yang International Conference aja Aku ikut yang di Australia, namanya tuh APR. Dia tuh kali pertamanya juga ngadain online conference. Uh, jadi kita yang harusnya di Australia dan Bali dia ngadainnya. Ini tuh dia ngadain lewat Zoom. Jadi partisipannya itu bakal uh, se Asia Pasifik. Gitu. This is my first time untuk ikut international conference, apalagi lewat Zoom. Ya, yeah. let's see. Oke, okay, sekarang tuh jam 11.10, jadi aku tuh bakal mulai jam 2 ACST. Itu tuh Australian Center Standard Time, uh, which is beda 2.30, 2 jam 30 menit dari Indonesia. Jadi aku bakal mulai kayak kurang lebih jam 11.30 di sini. Jujur kayak deg-degan, baru deg-degannya berasa banget sekarang. Kemarin tuh ngerasa kayak oh ya udahlah karena udah pernah udah sidang gitu maksudnya udah uh, udah dilihat orang ngomongnya jadi udah ibaratnya udah kayak latihan. Terus kemarin udah latihan juga kayak tenang tapi baru sekarang deg-degan banget. Oh kayak banyak banget nama-nama asing ya. Which is semuanya asing sih karena aku nggak kenal. Tapi jadi ya, uh, udah tekan banget. Semoga I, I still could do the best for this. It's getting real, jadi udah ada host yang masuk. Udah tekan banget, jujur, jujur, jujur. Di, hari ini makeup look aku alisnya biasa bukan yang federi karena nah, agak aku mau agak formal terus aku pakai wing tapi wingnya nggak yang terlalu panjang dan terlalu tebal kalau dari karena mataku kan kalau kayak gini cukup tebal sih tapi kalau dari jauh karena mataku tuh tipetannya tipis jadi kayak katanya fine fine aja makeup aku hari ini nggak terlalu tebal pakai blush dikit terus kontur hari ini aku pakai kontur dikit juga terus ini lipnya aku pakai Marc Jacobs sama Second Day Marc Jacobsnya yang super nude tadi tuh aku kayak nggak pede soalnya kayak nggak ada warna sama sekali pucat kan aku tambahin Second Day Tenoti di tengah-tengahnya jadi gitu ada warnanya gitu. Uh, takut 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 <laughs> Jadi ini baru mulai. Aku masih di mute dan nggak harus nunjukin mukanya kalau nggak presentasi. Jadi I'm good. Ini baru opening. Sebenarnya di Australia itu tuh tadi kita mulai jam 2 setelah jam makan siang. Tapi di Indo karena bedanya 2 jam 30 menit. Dia sebenarnya jam makan siang. Cuman aku tuh lapar banget. Jadi aku makan kue. Kemarin bikin telepon sih. Aku tuh pas ngomong nge-blank, masuk angin Ini kemarin aku selalu mau aku tuh gak suka makan kue Jadi gak enak Parah, gak terlalu manis Lembut Dan mana aku bikin whipped creamnya Whipped creamnya aku buat tuh kalau dingin Kayak marshmallow Enak banget, gak menurut aku ini cocok banget sama cake yang mau buat karena gak gitu manis, begitu ketemu ini manis, dingin kayak marshmallow kayak agak gimana ya, aku sudah menjelaskan So what we have, so we have, so America has seen something like 150,000 people die. The UK government chose not to shut down large gatherings to introduce stringent social distancing measures. Uh, the plan was to suppress the virus through gradual reduction targets. 
However, this policy seems to have um, had a 180 degree policy reversal over the Prime Minister Boris. And I'm going to find the part I'm going to say the part I'm going to say. I'm going to say the part I'm going to say. Now, I would like to invite our second presenter, Michelle Adrienne Young, to present her paper entitled The Effect of Online Communities and on Online Advertisement Towards the Purchase Intention of Healthcare Product Case Study of Gia Medical. Thank so, you. Michelle, do you want me to make you the host or you want me to uh, share the slides from my end? Uh, I will take uh, you make me as a host. I think it would okay. be more convenient for me. Excellent. Thank you. No problem at all, Michelle. Excellent. So now floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think uh, I have to be the host, Dr. Ras. Yes, I have already made you. The oh, okay, host. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good honor. Good afternoon, honorable audiences. Thank you for being here. My name is Michelle Andriani Yang, and I am currently pursuing my bachelor degree in business in Bandung Institute of Technology, Indonesia. And I'm honored to be here to present my research title, The Effect of Online Community and Online Advertisement Toward Purchase Intention of Healthcare Product Case Study of Gaya Medical. So, uh, Ira Fahira is my uh, project counselor. I think I have some problem here, sorry. Okay, let me continue to the second slide. I'm going to divide this presentation into five main parts, and without any further ado, let's proceed to the first part. A social media named Instagram these days become a lead promotion tool for businesses. Globalization has become an avoidable phenomenon that creates a massive effect. This fact makes the world become borderless. The world surely has been shifting into digital era, which means nowadays people using internet and social media as a part of their lifestyle. This leads into social media users that grow really fast, not only in the world but also in Indonesia. Indonesia is right now uh, in the fourth place of country with huge population, and 56% of Indonesians are the active users of social media. This enormous potential surely has been sought by businesses to promote their brand online. This caused Instagram become the leading social media chosen by businesses to advertise their products. As a new player in the B2C industry, Gia Medical faced some challenges. One of them is to utilize their Instagram to increase the purchase intention. As right now, they decide to use Instagram as their one and only platform to advertise their product. Also, because they have low engagement rate compared to their main competitor on run healthcare. This study can become a consideration for Gia Medical or other healthcare businesses to focus more on the factors that are essential for customers in online community and online advertising based on Instagram to increase the customer purchase intention. This research seeks to identify the factors of online community and online advertisement that affect the purchase intention and to examine Gear Medical's current performance in their online advertisement. Here, a scope and limitation of audience and research perspective is applied. Moving on to the theoretical foundation, at the foundation of the study, researchers refer to Balakrishnan model and fake three of the variables which are online community, and online advertisement at the independent variables and purchase intention as the dependent variables. Here is the, the research framework and hypothesis. The research, the reason of online community variable was chosen because of Gia Medical intention to do partnership with health or sport Instagram community to promote their product. Therefore, two hypotheses were developed based on the research framework. As the study aims to examine the relationship between existing variable and prove the hypothesis, this research was using quantitative data through online survey. 
The study conducted online survey to 400 proposed sample with the criteria of Badung domicile, age 20 to 49 years old, and become a member of health or sport Instagram community. The data analysis process is through validity and reliability tests as the pilot test, followed by classical assumption tests where data should pass this stage as the base requirement to be processed. After that, continue to multilinear regression tests, finding the percentage of independent variable explaining the dependent using R square, identify whether both of independent variables simultaneously affected the, the dependent through F test, and either each independent variable has impact on the dependent using T test. The relationship between variables, also the soft variables of each independent variable factors, are explained by R Pearson correlation. The gap analysis, equipped by weighted score method, only done to the online advertisement still variables because gap only could access between the expectation and reality, reality, uh, reality differences to determine in which online advertisement factors that GAIA Medical need to improve. With stated value of R person coefficient and Kronbach alpha, all variables and indicators are valid and reliable. Classical assumption tests needed to be done to ensure this data eligible to proceed to multilinear regression. As could be seen, all tests are passed. Moving on to the next slide. In multilinear regression, R square tests that has been done stated that both online communities and online advertisement factors could explain purchase intention by 74.7%. For the F test, both independent variable pass the requirement, which means that online community and online advertisement simultaneously affect the purchase intention. Next, by using the test, we could know that each of independent variables have an impact to purchase intention. But the hypothesis only partially accepted in this stage. Why? Because there is no further explanation about how are the relationship between each factors of independent variables and the dependent variable. This is where our Pearson correlation test had to be done. Online community interpreted to has a strong positive correlation with purchase intention, while online advertisement has a very strong correlation. By passing all those tests, both hypotheses are accepted, aligned with the previous studies. The R person correlation test also need to be done for each sub variables to find which factors of independent variables are more essential to the customer preferences. With stated value of R person score, online advertisement leading by hedonic, informativeness, and credibility, while online community followed with interpersonal trust, system trust, and perceived enjoyment. The suggestion by Center for Chemical Trust Safety stated that we the score method could support the management to make a gap analysis to determine on which factors that need to prioritize in improvement. Gaia Medical having biggest gap on the hedonic factors of online advertisement followed by informativeness and credibility. To conclude research question number one, online community factors that affected the purchase intention the purchase intention are interpersonal trust, system trust, and perceived enjoyment in particular order. But all of the factors interpreted on having moderate correlation with purchase intention. To conclude research question number two, online advertisement attributes that needed to be improved by Gia Medical in priority order is hedonic, informativeness, and credibility. To conclude research question number three and also the recommendation for Gia Medical, the result shows that Gia Medical need to improve their Instagram advertising by fulfilling accessible, amusing, enjoyable, and preference to decrease their gap in having attractive and catching posts, followed by favorable, sufficient, source, and timely for contents to generate the product recognition and benefits, and, last, and lastly, are truthful, reference, modest, and guidance for ensuring the consumer that the advertisement can be accounted for. While for the online community, Gaia Medical could start to find the online community that has heard fulfillment manners and believable in the relationship of each members. The relationship between members and the system environment also needs to be achieved consists of interest, truthful, commitment, and sincere. 
also the enjoyment of member on deciding to join the community, which consists of enjoyable, pleasure, and playful. Researchers also have some recommendation for future research. Since both variables only represent 74.7%, there are still a room for, for the, research, uh, the future research to find another variables. Also, since there's this research only conducted in Bandung, Indonesia, but to create online advertisement and reach to a more online community, businesses need to expand their ge geographical location of research to have more broadened views on the factors, especially since each region of Indonesia or even in the, in the world has different characteristics and culture of people. All in all, it is within my hope that the study will benefit both theoretically and practically for marketing knowledge. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Good afternoon.